today I am playing Froggy Pot. I couldn't handle scary games for a bit, so here we go. Froggy is sleeping soundly. The pot, it's warm and cozy now. Ah, that looks really cozy actually. Can I join you, Froggy? But it will come to a boil eventually. Hmm. Why are you saying that? It will be dangerous, though. Please help convince Froggy to get out of the pot soon. I'm counting on you. No pressure. <sighs> this art is so beautiful. And it's, it reminds me of the um, Hayao Mizaki guy with Spirited Away kind of art. But I can't let it get to me because this is a very dangerous situation right now. All right. Oh, come on, Froggy. Let's get you out. Let's be gentle. Um, hmm, maybe I will start with silence for now. Gently poke Froggy. Uh, uh. Why are you in a pot? Why am I in a pot? Why are you here? Oh, I kind of regret picking the dot dot. I was having such a nice nap and you woke me up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Sorry for disturbing you. Apology accepted. You're the cutest dear frog. That was fast. Hee <laughs> hee, relax. It's all good. How could you forgive me? Ah, <laughs> Anyways, I'm just waiting for the water to heat up. It's nice and warm. You tired? Why don't you join me? The pot will come to a boil soon. Will you please come out? Ah, don't worry. I'll get out eventually. I just want to relax for a bit. I mean, I kind of get it though. Because... Because I do like the hot sauna too. Once it gets too hot, I'll get out for sure. Okay, do you promise me? Yeah. How long have you been in here? I don't know, but it must have been quite a while now. But oh man, I'm so tired. <gasps> um, some days are just like that. I don't want to do anything, you know? I feel you. I'm sure you understand, right? Yeah, for sure. I do. Anyway, what about you? So, uh, how's your day been? Um, I'm feeling really happy. It's alright, same as usual. Hmm. It's alright, same as- I actually- no, I'm feeling really happy today, but if I say that, then that may make her feel bad. But maybe happiness is contagious? Yeah, I'll say that. Something good happened? I'm happy for your chum. <laughs> um, maybe one day I'll be as happy as you. I really do hope so. Until then, stay, stay smiling for me, bud. I'll catch up to you one day. Mm -hmm. How could someone who is this sad be happy for somebody else? Such a selfless little froggy. Frog, foggy, foggy. Hmm. The pot is getting pretty cozy. I feel like getting a little warmer. Wanna join? No thanks, you should really get out, or no, but why on earth are you wearing a jacket and water? Oh, uh, that's- okay. Let's go with the first one. Party pooper. You don't 
You don't know how comfy it is to just sit in here. The world cold and hard, but in here warm and cozy. The world is brutal. If I get out, I'll have to return to being a responsible adult. <sighs> you can't run away forever. It's not going to be that bad. No. What kind of responsibilities? You're an adult. Um, I think just asking questions for now is the best thing to do. These just sound really gaslighty. Oh, just the usual. Work, clean the house, feed my ham ham. <laughs> so cute. I do feel like that. I feel like once you make up your mind to clean, you do it, you feel great, but then it never stays that way. So you end up cleaning every single day and it's just a never ending task, like dishes. Like dishes are the one thing where I'm just like, I, I'm never done. So I totally understand how overwhelming this could feel. My hamster, kinda don't want to think about all of that right now. Jeez, who are you anyway? I'm gonna be staying cozied up in here, so... Look, just leave me alone in peace, will you? Oh! No, Froggy, you gotta come out! Guess you ain't leaving. Why don't we talk about something else? So, anything you like to do? Hmm, I like doing creative things. I like playing games like I am now. I'm too busy nowadays to do anything. My hobbies are beyond your puny mortal complete. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna say I like playing games. Oh, me too. Maybe one day we can play a game together. You know, sometimes I get told that playing games is super unproductive. I disagree. That I should be working on improving myself, my goals. But sometimes I want to grind in game and not in real life, you know? That's me with Zelda, Breath of the Wild. What about you? Any hobbies? Mm, I like guitar. In fact, I was playing a song just this morning. I wrote it myself. I'm very proud of it. I would love to hear it. Uh. <laughs> no! It's not good enough yet! It has breaks all over and it doesn't really follow any beats. Well, at least it has a good beginning, I think. Oh, you're too hard on yourself. I'm sure it's fine. Hehe, <laughs> not that you'd be able to hear it anyways. Oh, come on, you're such a tease. Alright, another thing I love doing is origami. I like origami too. I was never able to do the thousand cranes, but that was my childhood dream to do that. They say if you fold a thousand cranes, your wish will come true. Yeah, I want to have that happen. Hmm? Oh, I don't have a wish if that's what you're asking. Hmm. Do I need to have a wish? Well, no, but well, most people would. I see, most people would, huh? Why don't you make a wish now, Froggy? That's a neat idea. Hmm. I guess my wish would be to always be with the one I love, I suppose. But I don't know if that's possible right now. Why not? Maybe when my time is up too, we'll reunite in the sky. Or wherever dead people go. So Sorry. Didn't mean to bring the mood down. It's okay, it's real life. Though I still have so much to do and yet I'm just laying here, floating away, sigh. I'm sure they would want you to live well. And also, if you need to just lay down and do nothing, that's okay too. You're in a healing process. You don't have to do anything. I'm sure she would. The person most important to me goes by the name Zap. I miss Zap. Please get out of the pot! I'm sorry, I can't. I don't know why. 
Maybe her body is like frozen. It's just numb. When I'm in here, my knees feel weak and arms spaghetti. My knees feel weak, arms uh, spaghetti, mom spaghetti. I just can't move. I just can't. I could help you. I haven't seen the sky in a while. Speaking of the sky, I've always wanted to go to space. I wanted to be an astronaut. But that seems too hard. You can do anything you put your mind to. So instead I fold paper planes and dream of the skies. That's beautiful too. <sighs> oh, you're still here. Yeah, I didn't leave. This must be incredibly boring for you. No, you're such a fascinating creature. I do enjoy being in your presence. I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd stay this long. Maybe it's time for you to leave. Man, it's getting hot in here, huh? Get out, Froggy, please! Froggy, why would you leave this pot? I... I know I've got to get out soon. But even if I go back, what will I do? Oh shoot, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Back to work, the hustle, grind, all that. And to what end? At the end of the day, no one is there to share my days with. No one anymore. I'm tired. If passion is a candle, mine burnt out a long time ago. Still, no good will come of staying here. The world that awaits me outside this pot. Do I really belong there? You know, everyone I know is so different from me. They have their passions and dreams. But I don't really have any. Yet, being with Sap made me happy. Sap made me a better person. I know it shouldn't be this way, but... Sap was my passion, in a sense. Sap saw value in the things I did and encouraged me. And then there was one more person in this world with me. But now that Sap's gone, I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> Sap passed away from illness about a year ago. Since then, I have been in stagnation. These days, I just wade through life without much meaning. But lying in here <laughs> brings me some comfort, at least. Tell me, is that wrong? No. Um, do you think I'm letting my family down? No. Stop. It's something that's been on my mind lately. Even though Sap's gone, my family. They're still relying on me back home, but here I am. Just staying here, not doing anything. It's as if time stops when I'm in this pot. No more worries, no more troubles. They're expecting great things of me. If they found out about my situation right now, they'd surely be disappointed in me. 
Thanks. Of course, my parents would never tell me they are disappointed in me, but I can see it in their eyes and sad smiles. Do you think if I continue working hard, that will ever change someday? I don't know what makes me happy. Oh. You have to find happiness. If you don't leave this pot, you'll never know. True, but... If I get out of the pot, will there be anything worth going back to? When I meet my friends, they'll ask how my job is going, if I'm doing something exciting. But I don't have anything to talk about other than my hamster, I suppose. He's kind of old, but... He's still killing it at the wheel. When I meet my family, they'll ask me about the things I've achieved over the year. How am I supposed to tell them I've done nothing? My life has remained the same. Time is slipping away. At my age, everyone else has already moved on, but I'm stuck here. I'll still be here for you. Please don't say that. We met a few minutes ago. How much could you possibly know about me? Ultimately, what happens to Froggy is inconsequential to you. Because you'll continue to live and exist and life will go on for you regardless. You'll eventually forget about Froggy in due time. I'm just a passing froggy in a pot. You just want to be happy you saved froggy. Mm. I do, I do care about you. Why am I crying? <laughs> if you really wanted to save me, you would have pulled me out of the pot. If you really wanted to save me, you would have tried to turn the heat off. If you really wanted, you would come here right now. Stupid. But you just sit there, talking to me, asking me to get out. You don't do anything. You're not my friend, you're just a stranger. You're not sap. Mm. Mm. I know. Froggy has nothing to go back to. Passion, love, happiness, wishes. Such things are fleeting for Froggy, yet despite my flawed self, I found someone who accepted me and loved me. But even they are not here anymore. So tell me, how should I, how should I continue to exist? Oh. I don't know. Wait, I...
I don't know. Of course you don't. Because... Because you were me. The person I've been talking to is myself, isn't it? Convincing myself to get out of the pot with words Sap used to tell me. Holding on to the tiny pieces of heart she gave me. Coming up with reasons to continue trying. Every day I tell myself to get out of this pot. <laughs> it should be so easy. So why is it so hard? I'm truly hopeless, aren't I? It's not like I don't try. I don't want to say like this. But every time I, I think, what if I get out of the pot and I do my best and things don't change? What if it doesn't get better after all? I would end up feeling worse than if I never got out. Is that kind of world worth going back to? So I end up talking to myself, consoling myself like this to get out of the pot. Froggy seems to think you aren't real, that you're just imaginary. Excuse you. Oh, I don't know. Hey, I'm not you. Huh? I am me and you are you. You aren't talking to yourself. Shake my head if I... This one. What do you mean? You are not alone here. I'm here with you. You you say you're real? Yeah. I'm not just talking to myself the whole time. But if so, how come I can't see you? You're just a voice, so I must be imagining things. <laughs> I must be so far gone I've started hallucinating or something. If you really are real, come here right now. I wish I could come, but I physically cannot enter your world. You're, you're saying you're not from this world? I don't understand. I want to help you, but I, I can't come to your world. I... So talking is the only thing I can do. I, I, I see. But you're just someone I met a few minutes ago. Why do you care what happens to Froggy? Do I need a reason to care about someone else? You know, that's what Sap told me when we first met. I had nothing to offer her, but she cared. Maybe I had it wrong the whole time. If you say you are real, prove it. Prove to me that you're here. How? I don't know, but if you were me, you wouldn't know how either. Please, tell me. Tell me I'm not alone. 
It seems like Froggy isn't fully convinced. Froggy can't see me, but there is one thing I can do. I can tell Froggy my name. <laughs> my name is Heather. Heather? So you really are from another world, Heather. You're real. <laughs> right in the flesh I am. <laughs> Man. Jeez, this sure is a long day. I don't know if I have the strength to face the outside world right now. I'm still afraid of messing up. It's okay to mess up. No one's perfect. I'm like getting hot and cold, hot and cold. I see. Um, do you think it'll get better after I go back? I don't know, really. That's how life is, I guess. Yeah, of course. You aren't clairvoyant. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I suppose there really is no way of knowing. <laughs> that be life, uh huh. <laughs> oh, can Froggy ask you something? What is it? Are you friends now? Yes, of course. Oh, wait, you mean we weren't friends until now? <laughs> That's funny. I just wanted to confirm. Thanks, Heather. I'm sorry for calling you a stranger just now. I've been here long enough. Oh, it's about time I get out of the pot. Though it's cheesy, having someone to talk to that isn't myself. I feel a little bit better. Back into a world of uncertainty I go. I will most definitely feel a bliss again once I leave this pot. But life has to go on, even if there isn't eating, I suppose. At the very least, I still have to take care of Hamman, my hamster. Thank you for talking to me. It's been a while since I talked to someone other than myself. Froggy has been living alone for so long now, away from my family and sad. I don't know if life will get any easier or less confusing, but I suppose I can't stay here forever. You know, Sap once told me, a pebble that lies on the shore of a beach doesn't need a reason to be there. It just is. It just exists. And it doesn't make it any less of a pebble. So I guess for now it's okay for me to simply exist too. Until the day I can be happy again. Until then, I'll get out of the pot for now. Thank you, Heather. Though you are so far away, Froggy will always be cheering you on. Hello! Cartus? Cantus? This is Kent's Cantus Mori, the creator of Froggy Pot. Uh, or rather, I'm um, Cantus, a robot bunny acting as a vessel for my creator. But while well, you can treat me and Cantus Mori as the same person, really. Though, to be honest, I wrote in this section even though the game is over. But I'm not quite sure what to say. You look kind of funky. Ah, you noticed. My body looks kind of, uh, a wonky. 
Ugh, I knew I should have asked for some more colors. Then and again, we did run out of budget for the sp spray paint. Ugh. Without color, my body is in such a sorry state. My lines look like they're about to fall apart, like my ego now. <sighs> Are you okay? Yes, sorry about that. I do wish I could have met you in a more presentable form, but for now, this will do. It's alright, one day I'll get an upgrade for sure. Oh! Next time, be prepared for my new marvelous form with color! In a few years, maybe. <laughs> One day, I'll finally be able to save up enough to get a nicer form. But wait, that's not the point of me coming here. I'm here because I just wanted to tell you, thank you for playing is all. And uh, you have my best wishes. Farewell. <laughs> The feels. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching me play this game. Uh, I'm gonna go wash off this mascara now. And I'll see you next time. Bye.